Hey there, my name is Chris Acton with Acton Creative, and this is a handwoven experience. And in today's episode, I'm going to talk about analyzing your weaving project, part one. Now, here is where we're going to start our story today. You've just finished a project, right? You have a beautiful set of towels you've just taken off the loom and you are really excited to start the next project immediately. You've been looking forward to getting this finished and starting the next thing as soon as possible. However, my friends, I'm gonna encourage you to take a moment or two and actually look at and analyze your weaving project before you move on. And here's why. Weaving is a big old world. There's so many different things that you can focus on. You can focus on different products. You can focus on different fibers. You can um, dive into a variety of patterns. There's all kinds of things out there for you to explore. So part of your job as a weaver, especially a new weaver, is sifting through what works for you and what you don't enjoy as much. So that as you go on to the next project and the next project, you're making really good decisions for what you want to do and what you want to work on as a weaver. So in today's episode, we're gonna talk about kind of how to stop and analyze some of the technical elements of your project. So let's start with kind of the big one. What was the goal of your project? Way back in the beginning when you were making plans or if you're using someone else's kit, whatever it is, what was the purpose? What, what was your aim for this particular project? Keep that in mind as you are analyzing your project, analyzing your fabric. And ask yourself, how did the pattern turn out? Can I read it as well as I wanted to? How was the scale? Is it what I expected? Think about those questions. What is it about the pattern that went well or maybe not so great? What about the colors? Aha, uh -huh. ooh, I love talking colors, you know this. But how did the colors work with each other? And by the way, the purpose of an entire project can be just to play with color. That is totally okay. Believe me, Chris said you can always do a project only about colors and forget all the rest. You can, you have my permission. Go forth, play with colors. But look at the colors. How did they interact with each other? Were there any spots that you thought, oh, I just don't, I don't, I don't love this bit. Great, take a note. Mental note, write it down, whatever you're more comfortable with. But look at the colors, actually look at them and, and kind of discover what went really well in the color category. What about fibers? What kind of yarn did you use for this? the size of the yarn, the hand, how did that work out? Did those elements all support your goal for whatever you want to do in this project? And those are kind of the three big ones, right? Pattern, color, and uh, texture, mm -hmm. right? But what about the overall size and the scale? Was your goal to make a table runner and you ended up with the towel? Uh-huh, I've had that happen, don't laugh, yeah, it's, I've been there. So how did the scale go? Did it shrink too much? Did it not shrink enough? How was the overall kind of sizing of your project? How did that go? And then lastly, and this kind of ties into what materials, but how is the hand? Did you intend to make a scarf and intend you, instead you made a, um, a runner for the top of your piano? Because I've done that too. It was way too stiff. It was never going to be a scarf. It was never, uh-uh. So stop and take a moment to kind of analyze all the various elements of your project and uh, make a few notes for yourself. Things that you would absolutely do again or that you want to explore in more depth and things that you're like, no, that's not for me. And one of the things that you might consider is having a category that says uh, things I would do differently. For instance, would you change the set? of your project? Would you have your warp yarns be closer together or farther apart? Would you beat a little softer or a little more firmly? What about things like changing the scale of your yarn? Did you choose an 8-2 cotton when you really, maybe a 5-2 would do the job better? And of course, think about, you know, colors, <laughs> you know. What colors would you change if you were to go back and do it differently? How would you tackle this project again, knowing what you know now? 
These are all great things to consider, my friend, because the more you can kind of act like a scientist as you go along your weaving journey, the better prepared you are for making decisions in the future. Because if you learn from this project that you really, really hate this yellow and, uh, and this kind of uh, color together, if you don't like this combo at all, don't use that combo. Easy enough. Use something else instead. Because this is all about you. It's all about you and making decisions about what kind of fabric you want to create. Did you make, you know, 10 towels and you're like, oh, it's way too many. Uh, four is my max. Great. Now you know that, that you get bored with the project if it's too long. Mm -hmm. So think about kind of the technical elements of your project and just take a moment to really look at it kind of scientifically and ask yourself, what went well? What would I do differently next time? Mm -hmm. Now, if this has been a lot, I have created just a little a little cheat sheet just for you, all about the questions to ask yourself as you analyze your project. And you can find that in the Acting Creative Insiders in the membership. They'll all get a free copy of the um, lovely little questions to ask yourself as you are analyzing the technical side of your weaving project. So if you're interested, come on over and join us. Now, this is just part one of our two part series all about analyzing your weaving project. Next week, I'm going to dive all into the non-technical parts of analyzing your weaving project, which in some ways can be even more fun and interesting. So stay tuned for the next part of this series. And uh, in the meantime, start taking a look at your uh, last project and see what you can discover about how it went and what you would do different next time. All right, friends, have a good week. Happy weaving.